Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today we are doing another reading for Pisces. So let's get into it. Okay, messages for Pisces. So we have poverty. Despair. And we have pathway and gift. On the back of the deck, we have wealthy man. So there could be some wealthy man in your energy that is feeling left out in the poor or left out in the cold. They may be in despair over this. But this is the pathway you are supposed to take, leaving this person out in the cold. So we'll get some tarot out on this. messages for Pisces so there's some gift coming towards you this could be from this person this could be from the divine so we've got the knight of Pentacles that's the first card of the reading for Pisces and then we've got the Queen of Cups we've got the six of swords The Two of Cups in the center of your reading today, Pisces. We have the Eight of Cups. We've got the Devil, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Wands, and on the back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, let's get into it and get some clarification out. What is this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces? So we have the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. So when I look at this card, this Knight of Pentacles, they're facing the other way to the reading. So this, this could be some other energy. We've got Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That could be in this person's chart, but this person could come in and out of your life. We've got the Knight of Cups coming out. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That could be in their chart also, but I feel like this is you. You could have came into this person with a cup of love. You could have been coming in like a hero on your horse to this person who may be healing. We've got the Four of Swords and we've got the Two of Swords. So they're holding back some kind of communication from you as to why they're walking away from the reading. This person is closed off to this cup also that you are giving them. What is this Queen of Cups for Pisces? So we got the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Hanged Man, or the Hanging Man. So we got the Queen of Cups, Water Energy, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel this is you, Pisces. I feel like you are in this wanting to give your love to somebody. You're wanting to share a connection with somebody, share your life with somebody. I feel like you may have, you know, you're, you may have dropped or you're about to drop all the wands on a situation in your life. As we've got the Ten of Wands coming out, you could be sitting there or you could have sat there because you had some kind of options. Or you also could have looked at this, this situation where you were giving your cup with rose-colored glasses on. We've got the Four of Pentacles, so I feel like you may have been codependent or holding on to someone, possessive. But we've got the Hanging Man coming out, Pisces energy. You could be sitting in this self-sacrificing energy, deliberating everything that's going on and who you should give your cup to. You may have been losing a bit of money towards one person in your life, a King of Swords, some kind of logic thinker, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you may be now giving your cup to, you know, the Six of Swords. You may be going to move on because... For some reason, this person maybe didn't want to take your cup because you've got options. So what is this Six of Swords for Pisces? So we've got the Tower. Strength. So the Tower is Aries, Strengths, Leo, and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. On the back of the deck, we have the Emperor. So you could have, as I said, gave up this situation. You could have gave your cup to moving on to karma water, leaving a situation. We've got the tower coming out. As I said, Aries energy. There could have been some kind of tower that you were moving on from. Some kind of disastrous thing happened in your life. This could be relationship. This could be job. This also could have came in pretty fast, this tower. We've got the chariot coming out, cancer energy. But I feel like with strength coming out, Pisces, that you need to have the strength to move into this karma water. So we've got the two of cups next. So maybe you've moved on into karma water with someone new you chose an option and this person has led you to karma water so we've got the king of cups the five of wands and the eight of swords on the back of the deck we've got the four of cups so as i was saying you could have left a situation and moved into karma water with someone else we've got the two of cups coming out water energy there could be someone you're just so in in awe over and them over you also this is a very deep connection that you both have you both respect each other you've got the king of cups coming out water energy pisces cancer scorpio that could be in this person's chart it doesn't have to be but this person as i said is is mature in the mind they are balanced in the mind and heart. The King of Cups doesn't show his emotions as much as the Queen, as they are very masculine. But this person, this person could have caused conflict in your life. We've got the Five of Wands coming out. This person could have started drama. But you're choosing them. We've got the Eight of Swords coming out. So I feel like this person is imprisoned in the mind over, over this connection. We've got the Four of Cups coming out on the back of the deck. So I feel like this person may have nearly missed an opportunity with you. So we've got the Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? We've got the King of Pentacles. 
the star, Aquarius energy, and the hermit, Virgo energy. So the Eight of Cups, as I said, you could have moved into karma water, left a situation for your Ten of Cups and what you deserve in life, an equal, equal give and take. So yes, you left the situation for a better situation in your life. You know, this could have been some kind of snake in the road for you, this Eight of Cups that you did have in the past. So the Hermit Virgo energy, that could be in you know, that energy's chart, the person that you left. It doesn't have to be, but they could be the snake in the road as you were following the star. So they could have been some kind of hiccup. We've got the King of Pentacles, so Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be, but this person is a person of wealth. They are a king with money. They may... They may be successful in what they do as he's got a lot of gold around him. We've got the star coming out. So you leaving this situation has brought you to your wish fulfillment, I feel, and you following this star. Taking the leap of faith and leaving that situation. So we've got the devil coming out. What is this devil for Pisces? So we have the Page of Cups. The Four of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. So we've got the devil, Capricorn energy. I feel like there's someone... This, per this past person that was in your life that you left may be wanting to come in. They could have Capricorn in their chart. They don't have to. They could just be addicted to you, but I feel like they could have addictions also. They could have a really dark past. But this person may realize now that they have miss this opportunity with you because it looks like they're going to come in we've got the page of cups water energy pisces cancer scorpio that could be in their chart but there could also be an age difference between you and this person this person is very immature compared to you pisces they are wanting to come in they do look a bit scared and worried though but as i said before this person may have missed an opportunity but now they see the cup they they see that this is what they want in life this ten of pentacles happy family emotional fulfillment this person loves you and i and wants to start a family with you but whatever this is if they come in that looks like there's some kind of victory coming towards you you know, you probably don't want to be a winner. There's no winners in the game of love, but, you know, you've done, you may have left a situation and now here they come. This could be them also. So take what resonates for you. So what is this five of swords for Pisces? So we have the six of wands. We have the wheel of fortune. Sagittarius energy and we have death Scorpio energy six of pentacles so I feel like this person is going to come in and as I've been saying in the readings you may leave you may take all your swords and go you probably have had enough of the drama you know you want your emotional fulfillment you want to be happy in life but there looks like there's some kind of victory coming for you. You know, even if you do take your wands or take your sword and take your communication and not speak to this person ever again. Because, yes, no matter what you do, you're going to get some kind of victory. But I feel like there's an ending. I feel like you're going to end it. We've got death, Scorpio energy. That could be in this person's chart, but it doesn't have to be. But when I look at this card, I look at the skull. So I feel like I'm looking at death. So an ending. 
an ending to these karmic cycles that you're doing. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, as I said. Sagittarius energy. You are ending this wheel and giving to the right people in life all the right things. So what is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces? So it looks like you're working away on career in the future. You know, this is your justice call. The Three of Swords coming out. And then we've also got the Seven of Pentacles. So there's slow progress coming in what you're doing. We've got a lot of Pentacles coming out. So this has got something to do with your career. You are just going to put your head down and you're going to work your butt off to get this done. Because whatever's coming to you is going to be successful. You've got the Ace of Wands coming out next. But you're getting some justice for what has been done to you in life. Justice, Libra energy, 11, the master number. You know, you're on the right track. You're getting the justice you deserve after this three of swords you could be giving your own justice to this three of swords energy and this third party situation this heartbreak you've balanced it out you're doing your own thing now you're sort of moving on from it we got the seven of pentacles so you could have been standing there sort of in procrastination about this heartbreak in your life but you are slowly and surely getting over it and moving on which is good Pisces so we've got the ace of wands what is this ace of wands for Pisces so we have the Hierophant Temperance And the Page of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles, sorry, the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So like a, a wand of new beginnings, a wand of strength, creativity. So I feel like Divine is handing you this wand, this beginning. Something's going to come for you in your career i feel that's been coming out the last few days that something's going to come for you keep working on what you love and you know you will see the reward but i feel like as i said before divine is handing you this wand we've got the hierophant coming out taurus energy i feel like you know that this higher being is sending you in the right direction you know that there is a higher path for you to take. We've got temperance coming out. So Sagittarius energy, that could be in your chart. But I feel like you were going with the flow of life. You were balancing your life out. You were following the angel, as I said. Normally on the temperance card, there is an angel balancing the life. So I feel like you could be an angel. You could be an angel to a lot of people. People could call you an angel, take what resonates for you. But we've also got the Page of Pentacles. So something is coming to give you a coin. Something or somebody is coming to give you a, a new start, a new beginning on something that you're going to be successful over. As I said, this could be career, this could be relationship. Take what resonates for you, but I feel like this is some kind of career move that that is going to happen for you so we've got the ace of swords and we've got the six of cups so we'll see what we can get on these last two cards for the pisces collective What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces? So we've got the High Priestess. 
the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Strength. So we've got the Ace of Swords coming out. Communication. Some kind of heart. Air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Something is coming towards you. This could be communication with love. I feel like it could be, we've got the Six of Cups coming out next, so some kind of soul connection, but I feel like there could be some kind of communication and truth coming towards you. We've got the High Priestess, so Pisces Cancer Energy. This is you, Pisces, you are very intuitive, but I feel like there could be another person around you that could have Pisces or Cancer in their chart. But take what resonates for you. This person could be very highly intuitive also. You two could both be in, you know, speaking to each other through dreams or intuitively, telepathically. But I feel like you know that there's some kind of truth coming to someone that's held back. Someone, someone that's holding back from you. Got the four of pentacles coming out. But it looks like you're going to move to calmer water. That's what I feel. I've been seeing that in the whole reading. Have strength when this person does connect with you. Okay, so what is this Six of Cups? Because to me, it looks like you're moving away from that communication to a soul connection. So we've got the Queen of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. And temperance, Sagittarius energy. So we've got the Six of Cups, a soul connection. They do want to come in. The soul connection wants to come in. They want to bring balance. Temperance is coming out again, Sagittarius energy. This person wants to come in with some kind of new start with you. But it looks like you're in this Queen of Swords energy, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That could be in your chart, but it doesn't have to be. But you could be just using your logic a lot at the moment. But someone, someone's coming in, someone someone's ready to give you a coin this could be this new person or this could be a past person take what resonates for you but i would love to see what this ace of pentacles is because i feel like this is this old energy this past energy because we've got the five of swords this person could have left the situation like that. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces? I feel like you're going to leave this situation. The Ace of Pentacles, they want, they want to give some justice for being, for leaving the situation, as I said. But you may be closed off to this decision, this coin. And I feel like they're manifesting you also. They're manifesting you back in their life. They may not have come in yet, but they may be coming in soon. Okay. So, seems as though this person does want to come in eventually. I saw the deer on that pentacle card also. So, it could be up to a year that this person could come in. But it looks like you have you have your family and and you have soulmates around you already. So it looks like you're in a happy place, you're in a calm place. You're doing you. And you're gonna get some gift, which is exciting. Okay, 
Let's get out two cards for the Pisces Collective, please. Two cards. You can manifest your dreams. So as I said, you're doing your thing. You're manifesting what you want and you're going to get it. I could never forget you. I never could forget you. So this person still has you on their mind. You may not be thinking about them as much as you used to. You excite me. Okay, so we will get some of my... Well, they're not mine, but I do own them. But um, yes, some of the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle Cards... And see what other messages Divine has for the Pisces Collective today. Okay, we'll grab two cards. Two cards for Pisces, please. Shambhala Initiations. Retreating to recharge. Trusting in the process. Dharma. So... Divine is giving you some guidance of maybe retreating, maybe being in hermit mode, trusting the flow of life. So just keep focusing on you now, Pisces. Heart of source, all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. So at the moment, you could be feeling this all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. You could be feeling peace right now without having this person in your life. Sword of light, divine protection, cords cut, breakthrough energy. So the cords could be cut. I was actually thinking this yesterday. I've seen a few comments come on the page and I wanted to let you guys know that you can YouTube. There's a few YouTube videos on there on YouTube about cutting cords with people. If you feel you have someone that you just can't get out of your mind and you want to move on from the situation and their energy is always still around, check out the cutting cords videos on YouTube. There are heaps. I will have to link a description below of the YouTube video I watched about cutting cords. Uh, the chick that done the video was totally amazing and I, I loved the video. So yes, cutting cords is always a great thing if you want to move on and get that energy away and you know that you deserve better in life. So thank you for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember all my readings are timeless so if you ever want to check out my channel there is a playlist for pisces there will be messages for you in there i thank you all for watching liking and subscribing to my channel it means so much to me having you all here and having you be here every day with me checking out tarot something i love doing for you guys I know you all appreciate it so much, and but the thing is, I don't mind doing it. It's something I love doing. If I wasn't doing it on YouTube, I'd just be doing it at home anyway. So why not share my skills with the amazing people of the world? So I hope you all have the best day today, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.